The man President Trump has put in charge of America's environmental policies has declared he doesn't believe carbon dioxide is a primary cause of global warming. A view that goes against the overwhelming body of scientific evidence from researchers around the world. Scott Pruitt is a former Attorney General of Oklahoma who's frequently sued the Environmental Protection Agency in the past. He also described the Paris Climate Accord to reduce greenhouse gas emissions as a bad deal. Here he is speaking to CNBC. I think that, that measuring with precision uh, human activity on the climate is something very challenging to do and there's trem tremendous disagreement about the, the degree of impact. Uh, so, so no, I would not agree uh, that it's a primary contributor uh, to, the, to the global warming that we see. Scott Pruitt saying things that are frankly not true to CNBC. Here's our North America correspondent, Nick Bryant, in Washington. One of those moments in the Trump administration, frankly, that comes as no surprise. Scott Pruitt is a well-known climate change skeptic. It's precisely why he got the job. But for many people, it's been a jaw-dropping moment to hear the head of America's Environmental Protection Agency say he's unconvinced that carbon dioxide is a primary contributor to global warming. That flies in the face of mainstream science. It's been slammed by environmental groups and it also contradicts his very own agency's website and this does have policy implications any day now we're expecting an executive order from president trump that would aggressively roll back many of barack obama's environmental regulations and there's also a fierce debate within the trump administration about whether or not to withdraw from the paris accord that landmark agreement people like scott pruitt he says it's a bad deal Others like Ivanka Trump, the president's daughter, and Rex Tillerson, the U.S. Secretary of State, say that America should stay in. And it's a measure of how much things have changed. That Rex Tillerson, who up until a few months ago was the head of ExxonMobil, the world's largest oil company, has now become a moderating voice within the administration on climate change. Nick Bryant in Washington for us. Stay